Hello YouTube and hello viewers and welcome back to another episode of creating a 2D side scroll in Unreal Engine 4. Um, I wasn't thinking that this checkpoint system would be in two parts. I didn't think it was this big, but it is actually quite big. So um, welcome to part two of creating the checkpoint system. This video is going to be quite quick because this part's really easy. It was setting up the checkpoint system that was really hard. And apologies for the previous video um, with all the mistakes. I have now had a drink. I'm a little bit more relaxed now, so there shouldn't be any more. Um, big mistakes like I did in the previous one, but remember I do do everything on the fly um, So I don't really prep for these. I just make them pretty much um, the only thing I do prep are things like um, Images and, and things like that if I need them. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started and let's get straight into there So where we left off Previously was we created our checkpoint system. We made the save info Which is going to hold our information about my location. So where I currently am Okay and then what happened after that is we created our checkpoint system, so this one. So what we did is we added some components like a billboard and a collision box. We did a little construction script, so this was allowing us to um, change some things um, in our design view, so here. So if we had the box selected, we could just say it was a checkpoint or a save location. Um, really up to us what we wanted to do. Then obviously we also could change the hitbox style, so how big we wanted that to be. So um, where it would collide and etc. How big we wanted that to be and etc. Okay, we then coded that up. So we went into the event graph and we did some crazy code. Um, we looked at a tag. We named him Tommy, um, and then we made a save game. Um, so we saved the information, so i.e. his location here, um, into our variable, uh, which was the this one here. So our location, so our check location variable, and that saved into this file called location. And basically, that was it. Um, then we just put it into the scenes. We just drop them in. And we just use these checkboxes here to make sure it's a checkpoint or a save point. What I am going to do quickly before we start the video is I'm going to remove all that rubbish that was coming up on your screen. So we know that the ladder system had some of that print screening. So we're going to turn them off. So we're just going to turn these ones off. Um, so that doesn't appear again. There's a print screen here. So we're going to turn that one off. Um, so we're just going to take that one off. Let's compile and play and see if that stops. So there we go. Um, we still got it printing some other stuff. Oh, it's printing the the checkpoints in the save location now. So that's what we wanted to see um, originally, that it was actually printing off a location of where those uh, save points were. If I had to change the locations of them, so if I move that further away, so I'm actually going to move the bad guy because he's going to start shooting at us and he's going to cause some problems. So if I move that down here and we play, you'll see I'll hit that checkpoint. There's the, well, that's the, so there's a save point location. That was the ladder location, hence why it keeps popping up. And then if we go further down, that's now our checkpoint location and that's saving um, for us into a file. And that file, I'll show you how to access that um, at the end of this tutorial. So what we need to do is we need to now tell um, our characters. So if we we need to get this location, so if we die, we need to go back um, to that current location. So whether it be um, if we only manage to get here and die somewhere here, um, obviously we'll go back to our save location. But if we manage to get the checkpoint and die after that, we're obviously going to go back to our checkpoint. So we're going to look at how to do that now. So in this point, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our 2D side scroller character. Right, so this is where we're going to solely focus the rest of our session into um, will be this part. Now remember, we do have a system for him to die, um, obviously his health and etc. And then we branched off to a death animation, which is good because that's what we wanted. And then obviously we stopped the paper flip um, or the sprite, for example. We stopped that from happening. So what we need to do now is we need to set it up. So for example, when he does die now, we'll send him back to a checkpoint, replenish all his stuff, and then start them again from that checkpoint location. You might not like this type of system, but I'm just giving you the fundamentals to learn. Um, so you could change it up as much as you like um, and how you want to do that. So our very first thing is we need to work out if our character is dead or not. So the easiest way to do that is we're going to create a variable. It's going to be a Boolean because it's going to be a true and false. And all we need to type in is dead question mark. So are you dead, dude? Um, if you are, then obviously we do something. If not, then we really don't need to do anything because you're going to stay dead. All right, so let's drag that in. We're going to say set. So we need to set if he's dead or not. Drag that in. So obviously, this is he's dead here. So obviously, we're going to say, yes, you are dead. 
okay and we're going to branch off this so branch now just for simplicity you could plug that in okay but then that will always be um, true and false so the best idea is just grab that get that and shove that in there okay so we're setting it to true and there'll always be a true condition that will come through there um, if you plugged it directly into there it'll always be um, true as well so really it doesn't matter but just for simplicity because it's what we've been doing we'll keep it that way okay our next step is to load that file that we created that held our location okay so we can just type in location uh, sorry oh my god I just said I was sorted so load game from slot so we need to grab our, our load game and the slot we called remember was called lock loc and it was capital L wasn't it so capital L O C All right so lock why is that not capital L O C there we go so lock if we remember correctly go back to the checkpoint lock there and lock there. It's really important that we name, we name that properly otherwise it's not going to work okay next step we need to get the information from our saved data so what we can do is we can drag off here and we're going to say cast to save info so we're just going to grab the information um, in our save info so this one here so it's location pretty much all right once we've done that all we're going to do is we're going to set the new actor location so when he revives where are we going to put him okay so when he dies we then obviously respawn um, where we're going to stick him all right so where we're going to put him in the level so we could drag off here and we're going to say set the actor location and now remember this is going to be the relative location right so it's going to be his relative location now we need to put in this node here right so this one right here and where we're going to get that from is this here remember we recreated this vector so we're going to plug the vector into here that's why we have to call this so we drag off this I'm going to say get check location really important that we grab that and we're going to plug that into the new relative location so basically we're going to say all right when you die if you are dead we're going to load the information we're going to cast and then we're going to throw in this new location to you so your new relative location and that's pretty much that so if we just compile and play oh, we're going to need to get our character now so let's go back here let's get this guy so we need him to start shooting at us so we can test that's, oh, that's my ladder so here he is we'll just put him into the map happy go lucky guy let's just change his bullets so it does some more damage to us so i'm just a little more quicker for in regards to the tutorial series so let's play so hit the checkpoint you can see it's been activated again we're going to change that so it doesn't keep activating all the time but now if i die see it goes game over and i get shunted all the way back to that safe location where i started but you'll notice that i'm continually taking damage from the bad guy that's going to happen unless we start changing him stuff up in the blueprints but you can see his animation needs to be reset we need to replenish his health we need to replenish his lives and obviously give him input again um, into the game so to do that very easy first step oh, wrong place first step is we're going to set the capsule half height because you'll notice that he was half um, in the floor okay so we're going to set the capsule half height all right so we're going to set that and how we're going to get the actual height of that capsule is quite easy what we'll do is we'll click on the capsule and we're just going to copy this this number here and place it into there. So that's going to reset um, him so he'll be uh, the same height as that we want him to be at our next step is then to set our health so we're going to drag that and we're going to set that value and we're going to set that health back to three so we're going to give our character three health or three lives oh man that's health silly Wayne um, back to full so that's going to be 100 HP okay then we're going to set his lives so we can set that so we set his lives I'm going to set his lives back to three as a value right, So we're going to set that back then we need to make sure you can move again Right, so we're going to enable the input again so enable the input so you'll be able to play again so enable that in okay so we just make sure that's working and then we need to change his animation so we're going to set that 
I'm going to set his animation back to idle because that's what we want. We want him to be back into idle mode. All right. And then our next bit is just to make sure our flip books are working again. So we can just say play flip books. So we're just going to say play and that will restart all our sprites again. So he does not just do nothing. Okay. So let's see if that's working. So let's compile, save and play. So let's check. So if I hit the checkpoint, die, I've reset and my animation is all working again. I'm back to 100 HP, pretty awesome. Um, and I'm back to three lives. So let's do that again. Damage, 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 dead, back. Okay. Now let's check the checkpoints. So let's run to that. Let's dodge this guy, hit the checkpoint. There we go. You can see I've just hit my checkpoint in my print string. Okay. And remember the billboard doesn't show in the, in the game. So if you did put a sprite in, you'd see that. If you put a flip book in, you'd see that. In this case, I haven't. Um, just for just to show you new stuff, really. Okay, so let's die. So I hit that checkpoint. There we go. So let's run back to him. Let's take some damage. One, two, three. And I reset all the way back to that location um, of where that checkpoint was. All right. But a bit of a pain now because I can always go over those checkpoints, um, which is a bit silly because I could actually run back now if I try not to die. I could run back and reset my save game and then die and I'm going to start back at the save game. That's really stupid. So we can fix that very quickly. Let's go back to our checkpoint system and we just need to throw um, two things in here. All right. Um, remember, um, if I remember correctly, we used the do one statement in one of our tutorials. We're going to do the same thing here. So drag of our true, say do once. So we're only going to do this once. Okay. So do that once and it will do that. And we're going to do the same here. So drag off there, do once. Oops. Do your once. What's that? Do once. Right, so do once. And that will just automatically attach to that. So we're saying, okay, only do that once and do that once. So compile and play. And let's see. So if I hit that checkpoint, notice I can't hit it over and over again. I died. See, even when I die, I can't even hit that again. All right. If I hit my checkpoint, there it is there. I can't hit it anymore. Notice nothing's now printing. If I go back to my save game, let's go back. Notice that doesn't save, which is really good because that makes the game um, that the player has to continue through the level. He can't backtrack. But what happens if I throw another checkpoint into our level? Well, watch this cool trick. If I just duplicate that and drag that across, watch this. Play. Save location. Let's run like crazy. Checkpoint one. Checkpoint two. So it can work in a nice order. I can't go back now and reactivate this checkpoint. It's finished. I can only do that once. Okay. I go back here. I can't re-enable my save game. So now I've got a level that is continuous and the character has to keep going. He can't go back to go to his old checkpoint to save all his information. He'd have to carry on throughout the whole level um, for that to work. So that pretty much brings us to the end of that tutorial. Uh, a lot more quicker than the other one. Um, but it does give you a good idea of how do we make it work so that if you do die, it will reset, go back to where those checkpoint locations were. And then what we also then did is we looked at how do we stop it from always triggering continuously over and over and over again. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for joining me. Please do like, subscribe and share this with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Um, which I am not too sure what I'm going to do yet. I think we might do like a reload system, a melee system, sort of just start working on our character a little bit more. And then I got a nice request from, I can't remember what your name is, um, but someone did ask me for uh, enemies to move around or walk on walls. So I'll, I'll add that in into the series. Thank you very much. I'm Wayne. Thank you, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.